what is going on everybody and welcome back we're gonna go ahead and talk about some call of duty black ops cold war specifically the beta and some of the changes that are coming this weekend if you didn't know already the beta will start up again this weekend for those of you out there who didn't get a shot at it if you're on playstation 4 will have early access on xbox or pc then the beta is going to start today october 15th 10 o'clock pacific standard time or 1 p.m eastern standard time otherwise it will be open for all xbox and pc players beginning on october 17th at the same times listed i hope everybody get a chance to play the beta and as usual you already know i'll be playing the shit out of it so if you don't get a chance to obviously just come watch my videos and uh, you'll get my opinions on it in the background you already know i have some cold war gameplay so do enjoy that as we get through the topic of discussion today don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're growing we're moving forward and i appreciate you guys out there that are supporting the channel this intro has gone on for way too long so we're gonna go ahead and stop it here and go ahead and jump into the topic of discussion today first off at this point there has been a few versions of cold war released for players to play and give feedback to the developers concerning any issues you know that will come up concerning the game that being said you'd think that they would address some of the major concerns sent in you know like the overwhelming skill-based matchmaking present or the notoriously overpowered sniper rifles or even maybe the lack of lobby support when it comes to actually maintaining that corroboree and playing together nope i am looking at the list of changes coming this weekend and there isn't one nerf to the snipers listed or any changes to the skill-based matchmaking or the lobby system so just be prepared because like i said before the dev said that the snipers were overpowered on accident and that the lobbies would be changed and the skill based matchmaking would be addressed yeah that's all a lie and the snipers and quick scopers out there they will be the new meta in this year's game what we getting now what we got so far and what we will get in the future will be the same they will not be changing anything major definitely now when it's like what a month until the game is actually released no this is what we're gonna get nevertheless here are the changes coming to this week beta for gameplay purposes they did go ahead and adjust the tuning on the duster stock attachment to prevent all the damn sliding cheese that has been happening throughout every single game that we have played they did go ahead and increase the cooldown associated with the spy plane so hopefully this time around you can get through a game without the other team having radar up the entire time the devs did go ahead and finally increase the team deathmatch score limit from 75 to 100 thank god almighty now if only we can get them to increase kill confirm to 100 we'd be in good shape but that's okay you know start small aim high and we're gonna get something low so i'll take that the assassin perk description was updated so that it's more clear to the players what the actual perk does and the only real nerf to hit this time around will be to the damage of the milano a21 smg honestly i didn't really have a problem with this smg yeah it was a little bit cheap Easy, but I didn't run into too many issues with it but apparently a lot of people thought that it was overpowered and thus they hit it with the mean nerf this is the only gun that got nerfed so my quick scopers out there you know the true versions all I'm gonna say is you guys are completely covered in GG's in advance because I know I'm gonna be a victim because they changed absolutely nothing moving into this beta moving on the devs actually did adjust the conditions associated with joining any matches in progress they did this to limit the players from joining matches that are already based basically about to end then they actually move the vip escort game mode to the featured playlist vip escort is dope and if you guys haven't already definitely check out my video on it via the link in the description box or the playlist under the playlist section i really enjoyed that game mode and i definitely will be bringing more of it to the channel so definitely be on the lookout for that furthermore the Furthermore, the devs did go ahead and fix a few bugs associated with the game. They fixed an issue where a controller could become unresponsive when loading into a match. This has never happened to me, but apparently it was a thing, so they went ahead and fixed it. The devs did fix the optics glitch that would happen when using certain attachments. What would happen is basically you'd go ahead and aim down the sights and the optic would shift and be in the way so you couldn't actually see. Thus rendering you basically a sitting duck for anybody out there with working thumbs. But the issue has been resolved and moving forward 
it, it shouldn't be an issue. They fixed a few error codes that will pop up when adding friends or utilizing the Activision add friend feature that's built into the game. Also, they fixed an issue where players' names will be disappearing in the pre-match lobby. This actually did happen a few times with me, but honestly, I didn't really care because after that match, the lobbies would reset anyway. So I never cared about who I was playing with, to be completely honest. Finally, last but definitely not least, they did patch a few issues associated with the stability of playing the game. The devs fixed the issue that will cause the game to crash during the best play screen and VIP escort. That did actually happen to me one time, so I definitely am glad to see that this got addressed. They fixed an issue where the game will crash while picking an operator. They fixed an issue where the SAM turret will keep shooting at a target, although it's already been destroyed. And finally, they fixed an issue where the gunboat will cause the game to crash when beached for too long. So overall, they changed very little. They nerfed the SMG, the spy planes, and then provided us with a little bit of way of life fixes, basically. They didn't do much, but it should be noticeable going into this beta. That's about it when it comes to the changes associated with the beta that's coming this weekend. A link will be in the description box below to a full list for all those out there that are interested and need that visual aid. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please do me that favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave me a wonderful comment down below and ring the bell for notifications. I appreciate all you guys out there and I will definitely see you on the next one.